Now there's something that um, MPPT charge controllers can do that PWM certainly can't and that's take a high voltage input so I've got two 20 watt solar panels here and I've made this series connection so that their voltages are added together and that's going into the uh, test rig here and the idea is that um, we tune the oscillator driving the buck converter here to try and get uh, the full 40 watts as it is here of power into the battery battery is here I've got the uh, light bulb draining it down make sure the voltage doesn't go too high 12.4 at the moment uh, a 40 watts uh, transfer of power where there's a huge mismatch in voltage because the voltage at the solar panel end is going to be around uh, 35 volts twice the 17 and a half maximum power point of each panel and the voltage at the battery should be about 12 and a half so we're expecting the buck converter to do that voltage conversion and of course at the same time as stepping the voltage down it's going to be stepping the current up now I've had to make a few changes to this thing uh, in order to do this because uh, this sensor here, the voltage sensor, is only designed to measure up to 25 volts. So you can see I've put an extra resistor in there and uh, modified the software in the uh, computer there, the Arduino, so that it can now measure up to 47 volts. Then on this side, um, this Shockley diode is a replacement for the previous one because that had a reverse voltage maximum of 35 volts and we're going to get very close to that. Um, this one has a reverse voltage of 45 volts. Shockley diodes do tend to have very low reverse voltage capability. Um, and then the other problem, and this remains a problem, I don't know whether it, that is visible, just about 35 volt capacitor there. Now that's going to see possibly 40 plus volts and I just have to hope that it doesn't explode. I've ordered some 100 volt capacitors uh, so that I can do this um, pretty much with abandon, but for the moment I'm just going to be a little bit cautious. So just waiting for the sun to come back out. What have we got? Big black cloud, and as soon as the sun's back out, uh, we'll give it a go. So it looks like the sun's about to re-emerge, that big lump of black cloud is moving away. The rest of the sky looks reasonable. Yeah, we're going to get a bit of uh, a bit of sunshine for a while. So let's give it a try. So with the pot wound fully counterclockwise, um, I know that the PWM is at 100%. That means that the MOSFET here is 100% uh, on, piece of wire, piece of wire, piece of wire. So the solar panels are linked directly to the battery and we can see that 12.54 voltage on the panels, 12.4 on the battery. So let's start bringing this pot uh, slowly clockwise and see what we get. Okay so the voltage starts to climb up 15, 16, 17, 18. So they're up to about 20 watts. Just keep taking the voltage up. 25 volts. Now the bar graph jumps into a denser mode now. 27 volts, 28 watts. So 35 volts. I've got 31 watts. That's the limit of that capacitor. But I'm just going to push on a little bit. 37. It seems that the power is dropping back, so I'll just ease back a bit. 36, 35, and now I'm just moving backwards and forwards to try and find that maximum power point. And it seems like it's about there. So the peak watts we got was 34.9, we're at 33 volts. That seems about right. I was predicting about 35 volts um, for the maximum point and currently watts is sort of hovering around 32, 33. So I suppose that's not bad, it's midday, uh, it's not quite high sun, that would be 1pm British summertime, but uh, we're getting 
what would that be, seven eighths of, um, of the full 40 watts that I was expecting to get from these two 20 watt panels. Uh, of course, with 33 watts entering the battery and my bulb drawing 20 watts out, we've got a net uh, flow of current into the battery, power, charge, whatever you call it. So the voltage on the uh, battery volt monitor should be creeping up ever so slowly. It's got a net input of about 15 watts. So uh, yeah, I think that's a reasonably good result. And um, it's possible that the buck converter components aren't optimized for this um, large conversion. Also, earlier on I noticed that, yes, and it's happening now. Oh yeah, that's quite hot. The um, inductor's getting pretty hot. What's the diode doing? Oh, the diode's warm. And the MOSFET? No, that doesn't feel warm. But the inductor hot, that means it's uh, working fairly hard. But uh, 35 watts from a theoretical maximum of 40, I don't think that's too bad. Now, the last time I looked at this on the scope, I noticed there was um, ringing on the inductor and uh, it seemed to be at the point of collapse where it lost all its charge, it just went into this high frequency oscillation and the frequency m m was way higher than the switching frequency so it must have been ooh, a megahertz or something like that. So what I'm going to do is just put this, um, it's a 470 N, uh, it's a big sort of polyester, I think, capacitor, because um, I don't think it needs a huge uh, electrolytic. So I'm just going to put this directly across the battery terminals uh, and see if that has any effect. I'm not going to put the scope on it at the moment, but um, I'll see whether the inductor runs a bit cooler. Now, unfortunately, uh, since I fitted that capacitor, huge amount of cloud seems to have built up and doesn't really uh, show much in the way of uh, blue sky, possibly a bit over there but I uh, just have to wait now, lost the sunshine again. The uh, job of a solar designer in the United Kingdom is massively hampered by all this cloud nonsense that we get. So the uh, big capacitor is in place across the battery connections and uh, when the sun came out briefly a few moments ago I did get a peak of 42 watts um, so possibly and we're about an hour after high noon now uh, so we're about the same distance from high sun so uh, it's possible that capacitor is helping although the inductor is still pretty warm even with only 17 watts running through it, so I'm not sure that capacitor's the complete solution. I won't really know whether that's uh, solved the ringing problem until I get the scope on it. But it looks promising, but I'm going to wait till the sun comes out and see if I can get that 40 watts again. Right, I now have a sustained 40 watts, peaking at 42 on here, 32 volts on the panels. Let's see if I can improve on that. That's dropping. That's dropping. So it seems like that is the maximum power point. But there are still problems in the buck converter with the inductor getting warm. not really had a chance to warm up yet nor the diode and I noticed the MOSFET was also getting slightly warm so there still needs to uh, be worked on on that I think the next thing I need to do is get the scope on this again but it's difficult because the scope has to be indoors because the screen is unreadable outside and the um, the solar panels of course have to be outside and the sun has to be shining so uh, the conditions need to be right, but that's quite good. A sustained 40 watts out of uh, two 20 watt solar panels. 
into the battery which is now reading 12.8 volts.